Hey guys, I wanted to continue the trend of bragging about friends of mine. So today, a um, little bit of a story time, I'm going to show off some crochet stuff and I'm also going to show off two books that someone I am Facebook friends with and who also happens to be a Doctor Who actor has written. He's, he has actually released three, I don't have the third one yet unfortunately. But quick story time, uh, back in high school, I knew this guy named Mike, I still know him today. He introduced me to another guy named Michael Keller. And so I fell out of con. we both did, we both fell out of contact with uh, Michael for several years until the beginning of 2020 when a mutual friend of Mike and Michael unfortunately passed away. And we didn't realize that, you know, for a week or two, we didn't realize that, oh my God, nobody had contacted him. So, um, you know, Mike was saying, oh yeah, you know, I'll look him up. I'll find an email address or something like that. Because the last one that I had was from 2014. And I didn't think that it was going to be, you know, an accurate one anymore. Um, anyway, Mike did not look him up after that week, and I was like, okay, dude, when I had to, when I had to find him in 2014, it took me like a five minute Google search, so I'm gonna do that. Well, I did, I found some kind of like gaming profile page or something like that for him, and they had links for Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever other social media things. So since I'm most active on Facebook, I clicked on that one, and there's his profile pic. Oh my god, yeah, this is definitely the guy, because his face hasn't changed since we were 17. He's one of those lucky people who, you know, doesn't seem to age. Um, anyway, though, so uh, Mike friend, you know, I sent the link to Mike, Mike friend requested him, I friend requested him, and, you know, we've been in contact since early 2020. And side note, I've been playing games of chess with him since Thanksgiving of 2020. I have won exactly one game. <laughs> oh, so annoying. But anyway, though, um, one of the things that I discovered in looking at Michael's Facebook page is that he has gotten into photography. And oh my god, I love his photos. Um, he sells prints of them, and I will link his page in the description box below. Go show him some love, because his pictures are amazing. But he will sell uh, different prints of the pictures, and I have bought numerous ones. Well, when I was uh, going to be in the Long Island Who Con as a vendor in 2021, I wanted to buy a a uh, photo print from Michael to use as a backdrop for a crochet doll display that I was going to do. See, there's this one episode where the 11th Doctor and the companion Amy go back in time to uh, go back in time to meet Vincent Van Gogh. And there's this whole thing, the storyline has to do with this invisible monster who is roaming these church grounds. And so I decided uh, Michael has a um, a few different photos taken um, at a church in Austin, Texas, which is where he lived for a little while. So I decided, you know what, let me get one of those prints, I will glue it onto a blank canvas, and then I will paint over the, you know, the sky part of his photo and turn it into my rendition of Starry Night by Van Gogh. So that is what I did. And it honestly, it came out amazing. This church, this is part of Michael's original photogra photograph. So is the bottom of it. Um, but I did the painting of Starry Night. And like I said, I think it came out amazing. I had the reference picture up on my computer and my easel set up right here. So I was, you know, I was trying my best to make it really look like Starry Night. And these are the dolls that went along with it. So this is the Amy Pond doll. Got the boots that she so commonly wears and the scarf and the jacket and everything. The black skirt. And can't forget 11. Bow ties are cool. 
and the regular brown shoes that he normally wears. And then the third for this display is Van Gogh. And I'm really proud of this one. He came out very well. I normally have issues with um, especially facial hair with dolls, but I was really proud of how he came out. But yeah, here's the rest of him. And I found this blue yarn that I don't really know how well it shows up on camera. But, oh, there we go. Yeah, you can kind of see them. But this yarn is a navy yarn, but it has different speckles of orange, yellow, green, blue, kind of a teal um, throughout it. And I thought that that was really neat to use for his pants because I figured, oh, hey, it'll be like specks of paint are on him. So anyway, that is my crochet stuff for today. And there is one other piece. Like I said, uh, Michael sells different prints of his photos and stuff. He also sells metal prints of his photos. And the colors on these things, just as gorgeous as the regular paper prints are, these metal ones are just fantastic. And I cannot wait to hang this one up on my wall. It is the Austin Skyline Skyline at night, and I'm gonna stand up. And oh, you can't really see. This is reflecting my computer screen. All right, hang on one second. I'm gonna turn my monitor off. See if that helps any. And of course, now it's reflecting the window. <laughs> oh well, my camera does not show justice to these different things. So, like I said, I will link his page in the description box below. Go visit it, show him some love, because his stuff is incredible. Anyway, the books that I'm gonna talk about are two by Simon Fisher Becker, who played Dorian Maldivar in the 11th Doctor's run of episodes. And these are the first two in the ones that he has released. It is My Dalek Has a Puncture and My Dalek Has Another Puncture. And as far as I know, they are different anecdotal stories um, about being on Doctor Who, about Doctor Who in general. Again, unfortunately, I haven't read them. I want to wait until I have the full trilogy. But yeah, he he's a Facebook friend of mine. I was lucky enough that he accepted my friend request. And he is just an incredibly friendly and warm person and you know I I have loved the few times that we've actually talked over Facebook Messenger and he sent me these books and autographed them for me so there you can see maybe if my camera wants to show it oh, there we go I know this is still flipped I will work on it Eventually, it will be the proper facing thing, but yeah, you can see that he signed it. Um, when did he send this to me? Uh, it was July, it looks like July 20th, 2021. And then, oh, I bought both of them at the same time. So yeah, July 20th, 20, 2021. Anyway, though, I will link... Um, Actually, I'll see if I can link uh, Simon Fisher Beckers. He has a YouTube channel as well, so I'll see if I can link that in the description. And along with Michael's page, where you can see any of his photography and stuff. Um, let me know if you love the dolls. Let me know what other kind of dolls you'd like to see from me next. Um, let me know what, what uh, books you'd like to see me talk about next. I've got the community post where you can vote on uh, which of the three you'd like to see me talk about. So there we go. Like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. Give me a share. Give me a like. Give me a comment. You know, let's start a conversation. Thanks for watching, and I will see you later.